Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I know that my last apartment hunting video was pretty hot and you guys liked it. So I am going to be looking for uh, like more apartments because um, life is super real right now and coronavirus is messing with my life because a lot of places aren't hiring or it's just really difficult to get a decent paying job or a high paying job. I have to look at cheaper options. There are, you know, there are still some options that are 13 or $1,400 or 12, like between a thousand and fourteen hundred I'm going to keep as my price range I will also include the names and the addresses and their website links down below for you guys this place here that I'm at now um, a one bedroom I believe they stated was about twelve hundred dollars so we'll see I personally am I think it's important to have all wooden or laminate flooring I don't care if the bedroom has carpet because whatever like i'm honestly more in the other rooms of my house i'm just in my room to sleep so i really would love to have a lot of natural lighting like as much as possible i also think having an in-unit washer and dryer is really important because i first of all have hated the like both experiences that I've had with like a community washer and dryer, mainly because like, I get it, like, you know, you're, you're sharing it. So you really have to be on top of going in and out and making sure your laundry is like taken out on time or when it's supposed to be taken out because people literally will go in and take your stuff out of the washer or the dryer and they'll just put it on top of a dirty counter and they don't care. Also, like I personally haven't, had any of this I don't think as far as I know um, but my friend Alicia um, check out her YouTube channel she is a shuffler she said that when she was living in apartments and was using like the community washing center people stole from her I think that's something that's really really important but I'm willing to overlook that I would also be willing to move into a place that has the connections for it but then you also have to think about the fact that you're gonna have to either buy a washer and dryer or rent a washer and dryer I have friends that rent washer and dryers and it's worked out great for them somewhere that's dog friendly is also important to me though Oliver is an ESA which is an emotional support animal so technically I don't have to look for a place that's dog friendly because legally they can't tell me no since I have a note from my therapist that's really nice um, and that totally waives any fees that I have to pay for Oliver so no pet rent no deposit for pets and no um, just like pet fees like none of it I don't have to pay for any of it if you have a therapist and you're looking to move out and you have a pet and you're like worried about that extra 300 um, deposit and that $50 a month for rent all your therapist has to do is write a letter to wherever you're moving and they pretty much like that's literally it I'm just trying to inform you guys or like um, cause I'm sitting here waiting for my next appointment and I have nothing to do. So I'm trying to think of all of the things that I'm looking for or that, um, would be important to me when moving into my new home. Like flooring preference, I kind of don't have a preference on the floor. The floor that's the most vulnerable for like anything involving danger, which is probably true because, um, who wants to climb up? three flights of stairs to steal a TV, you know? I'm gonna hit the apartment on the bottom. What else, what else? Oh, parking. So living in the city is just kind of difficult, especially when it comes to parking. You will have to either street park and that's gonna be kind of a because there are a shit ton of other people that are street parking, so you're not always gonna have a spot like right there, um, and that sucks. So I don't want something that only has street parking. I would really love to have a place that has covered parking because here in Colorado, we have horrible hailstorms. It's just not something that I wanna deal with. Also, just with the snow and stuff, it would be nice to not have to clean my car off in the morning. I will include the square foot, the square footage, the price, 
the address and the website and all four of those things will be listed in the description box you're only seeing two apartments today one is in denver which is this paramount one and the other one is in broomfield and i didn't realize it was in broomfield but i feel really bad canceling so we're gonna go look at it anyways but i'm not moving there because it's too far from denver those early morning commutes it's not fun it's not fun and it'll take you like an hour and a half to get to work okay so this is the outside of paramount i like it i think it's cute so we'll walk in Okay, so I just finished that tour and I have to head to Broomfield right now, but I need to take these heels off because my feetsies is killing me. Um, yeah. Oh God. Let me go over some stuff really quickly with you guys. I don't know how to set my phone up. I finally set up Isabel's gift, but I don't have my case on my phone that has the magnets on it. Okay, so the marquee is the one that I would be moving into and um it looks like a studio here but it is not a studio um pretty much i think it's like this um literally and i think the one that i just saw that must have been this one yeah that's the one that i just saw for a two bed two bath for a thousand square feet at fifteen hundred dollars a month that's a banging deal like that is really good here are all of the floor plans that they have i didn't get the prices for all of them but i will like i said include the link to their website down below so that you guys can check it out okay so this is i asked how much utilities would be um just a guess um monthly and utilities covers gas trash water and um sewer and she said 70 to 90 dollars monthly um and then you have to have two times the month 
or two times, two and a half times your rent. So that would be $3,187.50 for me. The application fee is $18 the administration fee is two hundred dollars and the dis the security deposit is 250. pet policy like i said um i verified all my therapist has to do is send her an email letting her know that oliver is my esa and i won't have to pay any of that pet stuff um for parking i would prefer garage parking um, for $50 a month and I think that would be the best because of those hailstorms. I am now going to head to the other location because I've got 30 minutes to get there and it's like 40 minutes away. I will see you guys there. This one that I'm going to now is in Broomfield. <laughs> Thank you. How oh, cool. And then we do have a coffee machine as well. That's not open yet, but it will be. And then out there, we can't really walk through. However, we do have a gym, so they are open now by appointment only. Okay. And then we do have the pool that's open year round with the heated salt water. And then a hot tub as well. Okay. And then on the far right, we do have like a gas fire pit and a game room that you have two flat screen TVs and a pool table you can utilize. Okay, cool. All right. all of the prices and fees that you will incur if you move into the Bell Summit at Flatirons. I was driving so I didn't have time to show you guys this but I also didn't have time to record an outro so thank you guys so much for watching this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys enjoyed my last apartment hunting video. If you guys are liking apartment hunting videos Comment down below, like this video, let me know so I keep doing them for you guys, at least until I have a place to live, which, fun fact, I totally am going to be doing them until I find a place to live, so keep your eye out. I'll see you guys around. Bye!